How does your garden grow? August 7th, 2018. For a couple of summers, my children and I tried to have a garden in a shared plot of land at our church. We were successful in planting the garden, but horrible at maintaining it because as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. This summer was the very first summer that we have had fresh herbs at the ready, and I owe it all to my mother-in-law, Carol. As a very large, thoughtful pinch, my neighbor made me a wonderful garden box last year. I went under Trader Joe's to buy all the different pots of herbs that they sold. I put them in the garden box, and a week later, every single one of the herbs were dried to a crisp. I was shocked because I considered myself to have a green thumb. When it comes to indoor plants, I have an outstanding track record. I didn't want to go through the failed herb garden again, so when spring rolled around this year, I consulted someone who knows about gardening, Carol. I knew that the answers would come naturally to her because she loves being outdoor and harvests lots of wonderful veggies and herbs in her home, in her home garden. The location of my garden box was not in a good spot because the herbs were getting way too much sun and I learned that only watering once in those seven days was about six days too little. Whoops! Carol took the bull by the horns and planted all the herbs that I would need. Cilantro, basil, mint, thyme, thyme, sorry, rosemary, oregano, chives, and parsley. And on the top rack, so the rabbits won't get, won't get them, she planted strawberries. She placed the garden box in the correct space and instructed me to water the herbs consistently. Voila, for three months, my herbs have been thriving and are beautiful to see when I look out of my office window. Thank you, Carol. This is my gorgeous view from my office window. Carol also planted six long containers that fit snug in our window boxes at the front of my house. They really added beauty to our house in, a, in every way. Lucky us. Since we are going to be out of town for practically the whole month of July, I solicited the help of the neighbors to water my garden box. I made it super easy by bringing it over to their yard, which also has a very large and wonderful garden box. My neighbors were awesome and kept my garden alive and healthy. I also had a fr our friend, Miss Irma, come to our house and water the orchids, cactus, air plants, palm, and fig trees. What a lovely feeling to be able to leave my precious plants to the care of neighbors and friends. When the time came for my neighbors to go on their vacation, I was thrilled to repay the favor. I remember there was one summer they had asked me to water their plants and yard while they were away. I wasn't as familiar with the weather here as I am these days, plus I wasn't interested in the outdoors. Therefore, days would go by before I watered their plants. Let's just say I failed and it was no surprise that they didn't ask me again. Until this summer. I couldn't wait to redeem myself. I was so happy watering their garden and plants on all the days it didn't rain. Which brings me to suggesting more ways to be thoughtful. Watering plants for someone who has a garden either indoor or out or both is an act of service, which is a love language. Offer to water plants for someone if they will be out of town, if they just had a baby, or if they're pulling long hours at work. Gardens and plants are babies or pets for a lot of people. It's a simple act, but it speaks volumes of thoughtfulness. My designer friend Jen puts up with my need for plants in my house, but I know she would rather not have me scattering pots and plant holders everywhere. It's cluttery and it messes with the flow of the rooms. I can't help it. When I get a plant, whether as a thoughtful pinch or if I bought it myself, I keep them around for a long time. It's very hard for me to throw away or compost a plant and therefore plants accumulate. If you have green thumb envy but outdoor landscape doesn't exist or you prefer an indoor garden, I recommend cactus and succulents. Air plants are very easy too and will add green life anywhere. For the plant look for the plant and garden lover in your circle of friends who already has plenty of plants and already has a dedicated plant sitter, you can always pinch them with plant accessories. Home Goods and other big retailers are overflowing with decorative pots and plant themed access accessories. Or better yet, you can pinch them with these pouches by KT Design. Cactus and succulents may not be your idea of a garden, but it's green life. Those who have them know succulents can be addicting. KT Design makes easy to wipe off pouches, so if there are spills, the oil cloth is up for the challenge. How does your garden grow? It grows well. Being thoughtful grows well too. Pinches, Barb.